Well, Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here. And before we get into the video, if you want to help me out on my grind towards 10,000 subs, we are so close. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like on it. It helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. But other than that, let's get into it. Halo has been out for almost two months, and what a two months it has been. From extreme highs to deep lows, Halo has been somewhat on a roller coaster since launch. There's been huge praise from media outlets, huge content creators critiquing the lack of a battle royale, the microtransaction fiasco, BTB not working, and so much more has happened. Something that has become a hot topic on social media is the decline in the players on the game. Something that has been a hot topic on social media has been the decline in players on the game daily, and while I am not a troglodyte who looks at things so narrowly, I do believe that this is worth looking into. Now, of course the player base is going to drop after launch, of course people are going to be playing other things, it's a very competitive environment out there in the gaming industry, so many free to play games and stuff like that, but I will say that I have hit Onyx, I have maxed out the battle pass, and honestly the thing that I am feeling the most it's not fatigue from playing, but a lack of incentive to play. The game is fun at its core, but it just feels like now I'm wasting my time almost. There's no progression system or unlocks available after the battle pass, and the store seems extremely intrusive. There's really no social aspect either, like clans, and I don't know, there's just no game lobby chat or something. I don't know what it is, but it just feels like there's no social interaction on this game. I will also say that, and you guys might disagree with me on this, but it feels like a very uncasual game, especially with the issues that BTB is having. It doesn't feel like there's a fun game mode. You know, we have Fiesta now, but you know, Infection and all those other games, Griffball, I feel like are being sorely missed. I feel like when I hop on, I gotta mentally prepare myself because of skill-based matchmaking or your MMR, so I can't just chill out and play the game but back to that poll that i had on my channel with the surprising results and comments i want to take a look at them real quick so if you look at the poll it is are you bored of halo infinite 21 percent said yep 35 percent said nope 36 percent said kinda and eight percent haven't played that much and kinda and yep might be able to be kind of put into the same response and while I think 35% saying that they aren't bored is a good thing, I do wonder how long it will take for those players to reach that boredom level. If we look at some responses, this user said that I'm staying optimistic, but I can't lie, I'm getting bored. I wish there was more to do after beating the past. There's nothing to grind for. Gameplay is generally fun, but my last session was a sweat fest full of desync issues and even a hacker at one point. I truly believe it'll get better, but right now I'm not feeling the same hype that I actively feel for H3 or Halo Reach MCC game night. And I, I completely forgot about the desync issues. That has completely ruined a lot of my game sessions. Having to restart the game and whatnot, it just feels bad. Another response was, yeah, I'm bored. The game is fun, but it's lacking, and it's so broken at times, it kills me. This is only the second Halo game that I don't like playing. It feels like I'm doing chores while playing. The first Halo game to make me feel bad playing was 5. I, again, I get the chores thing. The challenge system makes it feel like I have to switch up how I play in order to get challenges done. It's not a great system. This user said that I'm playing once a week to really lengthen out the battle pass. Without a legit rank system, what else is there to work towards? Those that max the battle pass and still play are the real ones. And I agree, I feel like the progression system is bad, but for a user to have to play sparingly so that they get the most out of their battle pass, I don't know. I feel like there's a design flaw in there somewhere. While I agree with the second half, I do feel like there's something to be said about the campaign PvE side of the game where there's almost no replayability, I feel like, without the mission selection. And once you unlock all the operating bases and stuff, like, what is there to do other than just replay the campaign? And while I feel like other Halos, you know, that's kind of the goal is you speed run or you just go back and replay it. Halo Infinite is very different in the sense that it's that pseudo open world. And I don't know, it's just... It's weird to me that it doesn't have that same replayability. This is the last response we're gonna go over. Finished the battle pass, finished the campaign, got all the achievements, except medic, without an actual progression, I don't have a reason to play. The battle pass wasn't fun to grind, and wasn't much of one either, not gonna lie. Campaign was fun, few kinks, but was solid. Need infection, so that I can have some fun really. Again, I completely agree. I understand where a lot of these users are coming from. I do understand that there are also people out there that are having a ton of fun with the game, and that's not a bad thing. If you enjoy something, 
far be it from anybody else to tell you to stop enjoying it. But this is just kind of the sentiment that I'm getting from social media and whatnot. And while that is probably the vocal minority, I still think that there's a lot of issues with the game that needs to be addressed. The content side of things, I don't know. It's just weird that we don't have playlists or at the beginning of the hype cycle, you know, we were talking about if we were going to get a battle royale. And at this point, when the game launched, it was like, are we going to get more playlists? You know, there's like three right now. What are we going to... I don't know. It's just... I think that I envisioned something different. And um, while I am a little disappointed in the replayability in the game, I hope that in the coming months it will be will be fixed. And again, you know, 343 has been on vacation for holiday break and stuff. And they're just now getting back into the office. So... Fingers crossed we start getting like a roadmap I think would be amazing. If we could just see what is coming, I think that people would be way happier. And that's not just events, you know, like the um, the Tenrai event dates or how we had Winter Contingency or those other events that are upcoming. I think we need a real roadmap of what is actually coming to the game. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Peace!